Salut you right et bienvenue au corps pour aujourd'hui. Today's lesson being the final lesson of the academic year, your final French lesson in year eight. So um, I think you've done amazing things this year, even though this year has been a bit sh because of lockdown, you've had some huge success. And when I think back to September when I first took my year eight classes on and what you could do from that year seven up until now and all the things that we've covered all the GCSE work we've done, the past tense, the present tense, the future tense, all the adjective rules, all this really tricky GCSE French. I've just been really impressed with what you've done and how hard you've worked. So there's a little reward because it's our last lesson of the year. What we're going to do today is test you on all the most challenging parts of the course. I'm going to test you on your tenses to see what you know. I'm going to test you on your accuracy. I'm going to test you on your adjectives and all the rules you looked at, everything is going to be tested today to see whereabouts you are and, and to push you into that year nine difficulty to see what you can do. So I'm sure you're looking forward to that year eight. You deserve it. That's what we're going to do today. Je vais expliquer plus en, en quelques secondes, mais en premier, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Donc, s'il vous plaît, year eight, copiez le date, ou plutôt inventez le date pour moi. Voilà, copiez le titre du genre dans vos cahiers uh, bleu, c'est revision pour l'examen d'écrire. Et s'il vous plaît, Comment dire les choses suivantes en français? Un, I went, I go, I'm going to go, last, next, usually. How do you say these six things in French? I've helped you out with the first letter of your contrôle de uh, post-it aujourd'hui. See what you can do. Put me on pause now. Get all this into your books. Have a go at contrôle de post-it. And then when you're ready, you recommence the video. And I'll go through the answers and tell you a bit more about today. Pause me now, you're right. Hello, mi petit, if you listen to me now, you've got the date and title in your book and you're ready for our lesson. How well did you do <coughs> on our one to six? How well did you do on our post-it note challenge? I think you should be getting all six of these today. So that'll be the target. Let's see what we've got. If you didn't get them, when I show you the answers, I'm sure you'll be cutted. You do know these. So I went, this is the past tense of Ali, a really irregular verb. You need je suis Ali. That is an absolute GCC must know. I go, think of the song, say je vais, put aller into the future. I'm going to go, you need je vais, and then the infinitive, je vais aller. Voilà. Alors, numéro 4, last. There's two ways to say it for masculine and feminine. Did you get both? It is dernier or dernier. Next then is prochain or prochain, depending on masculine or feminine. And then finally, usually is dab dab d'habitude. Voilà. Right, guys, these six words are must knows. It's going to be a massive test today on your must knows. We're going to be testing the cool vocab, cool structures, past, present, future. We're looking at all of this today. Have a look at the sheet I've put on Frog for your first activity. Hello, this is our plat du jour for today then. We're looking at key tenses and structures. We're looking at your opinions and ideas and how to extend them. We're looking at accuracy when you're using the past, present and future. And then the biggest thing is all three tenses. This is what you'll need to do next year. Get all three tenses in your written work. Let's have a look at all three of these little things now. Hello, my petit. Ici, c'est activité 1. C'est sur la feuille que j'ai attaché à Frog. Alors, c'est en trouver la paire. Ici, dans la boîte bleue, vous avez le vocabulaire clé du module en français. Ici, dans la boîte rouge, vous avez le même vocabulaire en anglais. Il faut trouver la paire entre le français et l'anglais. Ici, vous avez deux minutes pour faire ça. Vous avez aussi un défi additionnel difficile ici. Il faut traduire la phrase ici en français pour le défi additionnel. Alors, deux minutes, mes petits. You know what to do. I want five from all of you today in these two minutes. Put me on pause now. See what you can do. Bon courage. Toi, deux, un, allez. Allô, mes petits. If you listen to me now, then. You've had your two minutes, you've matched up as many as you can and you're ready for our answers. You need to know all 11 of these words, not just for today, but for the rest of your lives, for the rest of your French lives. You will need these, you will need to use them. Alors donc, on y va. The first one, j'aime bien lire, is from module one. It's how you say, I really like reading. So you can say j'aime beaucoup or you can say j'aime bien. They both mean I really like. Alors numéro deux, d'habitude, je vais. 
D'habitude means usually. And if you usually do something, it's in the present tense. Je vais is from aller. It means be. Usually I go. Three and four are the same verb. Aller, but in different tenses. Numéro trois. L'année dernière, je suis allé. Veut dire, c'est. Last year, I went. Numéro quatre. La prochaine fois, je vais aller. C'est des. Next time, I'm going to go. You can see aller, and it's three tenses here, just like on our post a note starter. You've got je vais, I go, or I'm going, je suis allé, I went, and je vais aller. You've got to know the difference between these three today. Numéro 4, numéro 5, numéro 6. Ah, pardon, numéro 5, numéro 6, numéro 7. They're all in. What tense? You've got a clue here, and here. This was an IR verb. You've got a clue here and here, and then this is an irregular. What tense are they in? They're all in the past tense. How do I know? Because you have to have the have. They all start with I have. And then this is an IR verb, which changes to an I. ER changes to an accent. RE would change to you. What's going on with this verb? It doesn't follow the pattern. It's one of our regulars. So you should have j'ai fini. C'est A. I finished or I have finished. It means both. You have to have the have. J'ai rencontré. C'est J. J'ai. I met or I have met. And finalement, j'ai pris. Is I took or I have taken. It's one of our regulars. Fait vu lu bu vu lu pris. Voilà. Alors numéro 8. Je suis. Is I am. You've got to know that. Je m'entends bien avec. Is I get on well with. And then these two. Absolutely key. C'était. Is it was. Ce sera. Is it will be. Now with that, you could have had a go. Our extra challenge. You had to translate. Last weekend, I went to the cinema. The film finished at 10 o'clock. Amazing if you got this. You should have le week-end dernier. Je suis allé au cinéma. Remember, aller is a regular in the past tense. It's always je suis allé because it's a motion verb. And then le film a fini. Has finished a 10 heures. Guys, amazing if you got this. You might have put 22 heures, 22 hours because it's 10 o'clock. Bon effort ici. What I want to do is it says there's a little line on your frog hand down. It says pliez moi. Fold me. If you're working on the screen, just roll it down. Make sure you can't see this for our next activity. Parce que mes petits, c'est exactement la même activité. Le problème, cette fois, j'ai pris les lettres. Il faut compléter la phrase, puis il faut trouver la paire. Par exemple, numéro 1, j'aime bien, I really like reading. It was, what's that verb to read? Is Leah, so I'll fill that in. J'aime bien Lia, and then I need to match it up. Et voilà avec C. Et de je veux, this was d'habitude, je vais, d'habite, etc. Donc compléter la phrase et trouver la paire. This time I'll give you three minutes to do this, mes petits. Two minutes. I've changed the extra challenge. I've put it in a different tense. Can you crack it? Extra challenge down here, guys. I will give you three minutes. So put three minutes on your timer on your phone. Restart the video when you're done, and I'll go through the answers. No, looking at the activity before. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Allez. Hello, mes petits. If you listen to me now, <coughs> you've had a go at this, and you're ready for our answers. Let's blitz through this. You know this. So the first one, j'aime bien lire, qui veut les dire en anglais. I really like reading. Numéro deux, toi et quatre. This shows you the difference between the three tenses. So it goes, d'habitude je vais, usually I go. L'année dernière, feminine, je suis allé. Last year I went. L'année prochaine, je vais aller. Next year I'm going to go. You can see the present, past and future there. Numéro 5, 6 et 7, they're all in the past tense. J'ai fini, qui est E, I finished, or I have finished, and I have finished. J'ai rencontré, c'est B, I met, or I have met. Et j'ai pris, I took, or I have taken. Numéro 8. Je suis as I am. Numéro 9, je m'entends bien avec, means I get on well with. And then it was and it will be. C'était, ce sera parfait. Alors, the extra challenge was tougher because it's the same as the last one, but I've changed the tense. Now, it is next weekend. <coughs> I'm going to go to the cinema. I would like to see Deadpool. So, next weekend is le weekend prochain. Je vais aller au cinéma. Je voudrais regarder or je, je voudrais voir either one of them work. Right, guys, bon effort for celui-ci. We've looked at some of our key phrases. What we're going to do now is look and, and, and put them into full sentences avec la prochaine activité. Alors, let's test you on these key phrases. 15 keywords that you have to know by the end of year 8. 
do you know them? Put me on pause now, prepare yourself. When you restart the video, I'll count you down and then you've got 36 seconds to get all the way to 15. Put me on pause now et préparez-vous. On y va. Allo mes petits, if you can hear me now. You've prepared yourself. I'll count you down. You know how this works. Say français, anglais, français, anglais. Aussi rapide que possible. You have to get all the way to 15 to be a success. Good luck. Et toi, deux, un. Allez. First column's almost gone, so you're rapide. Et 20 secondes environ. Et 10. Et 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Et c'est fini du le monde. Right, guys, these are must knows look at the next activity on your sheet et voilà donc vous savez combien de mots clés here's our 10 keywords you've got two minutes put me on pause and all i want you to do is no help no gaps no letters nothing 10 keywords do you know them all put me on pause put a timer on your phone for two minutes and see how many of these 10 you know go for it deux minutes on y va Hello, mes petits. How many did you know then? Let's find out. You only get the mark if you've done it perfect. It's written exactly how I've written it. So, this is what you should have. Usually I go, usually I go, David, you je vais. Last year I went, look at my spelling. L'année dernière, je suis allé. It's got to be perfect. Have you got the double E with the accent on any? Have you got the feminine form of dernier? If you don't, no mark. Next time I'm going to go, la prochaine fois je vais aller. I am. Je suis. It was. C'était. Have you got the U the accent? If you don't, no mark. I met or I have met. J'ai rencontré. I got on well with. Je m'entends bien avec. I really like reading. J'aime bien lire. It will be. Ce sera. And then our regular. I took or I have taken. C'est j'ai pris. And there's your extra challenge. Right, guys. Give yourself a mark out how many you've done. I put it up. I want five at least. If you don't know these phrases where you didn't get at least five, go back in the video, watch and do the next, the, the last two activities to make sure you're prepared and come back to this. If you're over five, you are ready to have a little bit more revision of our language. Et donc, right guys, we've looked at some key tenses and structures. We've looked at some accuracy. Let's put the first two together and, and do some full sentences and revision. Et voilà, donc la prochaine activité, si cela faut, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Ici, vous avez une phrase en anglais et la solution française, la traduction, c'est ici dans le bol. En utilisant les mots dans le bol, il faut traduire les phrases ici en français. Par exemple, <coughs> numéro 1, 1. I am someone who is. So, what is I am? It's one of our key must knows. Just say, ici, je suis. Donc, copy je suis. Cross it out when you're done because you've used it and it'll help you out for our later ones. So, someone who is. How do you say someone who is? Is here. Je suis quelqu'un qui est. Copy it out. Cross it out as you go. Et voilà, il faut traduire les phrases. I want you all to do the first two today. I'll be happy if you do one and two. Three and four are a bit more difficult. Eight, your expert challenge is down here for extra challenge. See what you can do. Add to number four to develop your ideas. It's going to be tough that today. Right, this is a tough little challenge. I'm going to give you five minutes. That is over a minute a question if you're doing très difficile. Voilà, donc vous avez cinq minutes. Put me on pause. Put a timer on your phone in five minutes time. Recommencer le video and I'll go through the answers. Bon courage mes petits. On y va. Hello, mes petits, if you listen to me now, you've done your best on words soup and you're ready for les réponses. Alors donc, how old did you get on? Let's have a look at number one, a lovely sentence, this. I am someone who is quite funny and I'm a bit lazy. C'est, je suis quelqu'un qui, this is a key phrase for GCC, you'll get used to hearing this. Je suis quelqu'un qui, I am someone who is, uh, assez drôle et je suis un peu paresseuse. You see how this is feminine, it uh, changes to us. Numéro deux. I love watching TV. I really like watching soaps. 
my favourite show is Holly Oaks. Why would you like that? So I really like, we've looked at this for the last two starters. I like, really like reading. We've changed it to I really like watching. Did you get it? You should have. J'adore regarder la télé. J'aime bien regarder les feuilletons. Love that word. Mon émission préférée est, I think in French we say, Holly Oaks. Voilà, right guys. So, two down. Bon effort if you did the first two. Let's have a look at très difficile. Et voilà, now these are in different tenses. Numéro 2, c'est au passé. Last year, I went, this is going to be a problem, to Paris with my family, and we visited. You don't say we visited in France, what you always say, what you have to have. Did you fall into the trap? Let's find out. Non, ça veut dire, l'année dernière, je suis allé à Paris avec ma famille. Et nous avons visité les monuments historiques. Right, guys, brilliant effort if you got that. Did you get the avons here? Remember, you have to have to have. Et finalement, future tense now, right, conditional. Next year, I would like to go back. I'm going to visit the Louvre. Is l'année prochaine, je voudrais retourner. Je vais visiter le Louvre. Right, guys, a brilliant effort here. Give yourself a mark at how many you've done. Well done if you had to go at our extra challenge or see. This is what I've got. So, the next time, la prochaine fois, je vais voler. I'm going to steal. And then remember the Mona Lisa in France, they call la jaconde. Guys, this has been an amazing creative sentence to use. Bon effort. We've looked at some key year eight phrases. We've put it together in some amazingly complex GCC sentences here. Let's put you to the proper test now, year eight. Et voilà. So, we've looked at all these things individually. What I'm going to do now is put all three targets and the extra challenge target together in our final activity of year eight. We save the best of last. Et voilà, on va faire une dictée. Now you know how this works. On frog, I've given you a sheet, which is a grid, which has got some words in it, but loads and loads and loads of missing words. What do you need to do? Alors, je vais expliquer en français, hein? Mr. Ennis va lire le texte, mot à mot. Il faut écouter Mr. Ennis et il faut écrire en français les mots qui manquent un mot pour chaque boîte. Par exemple, if I said l'année dernière, you need l'année, voilà, <laughs> dernière, voilà. Beautiful. Il faut écrire les mots qui manquent dans la boîte. Now today, where you see the grey, yeah? So where you've got boxes in grey, that is to show you the differences I'm going to do. For example, on here, I'll start a box one and go one to four and add it on. So wherever you've got a grey, I'm going to read two. I'm going to say each section two times. Now today, being as you're at home, you've got the luxury. You can pause the video check what you've got, write it in and then restart. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing cheating with that. Go for it. If you really want to challenge, challenge yourself to not pause the video and see if you can keep up. I think that'll be really tough today. Allo mes petits. Allo mes petits, right guys. I've put up a version of what you've got. <clears throat> you can see tu les boîtes en gris ici. This is where I'll stop. So I'll go one to five. And I'll do that section twice. Then I'll do 6 to 11. I'll do that section twice, etc. Remember, you can pause me. You can stop the video and write in and think about it as much as you can. Your challenge, if you want to go for it and you don't pause me at all, go for it. But I don't think that'll be possible. Allons, mes petits. Right, guys. So, on y va. Et le premier, 1 à 5. 1 to 5. Guys. La lecteur est ma passion. La lecteur est ma passion. 6 to 11. J'adore lire les romans policières. J'adore lire les romans policières. 12 to 16. Ce sont intéressantes et passionnantes. Ce sont intéressants et passion. 
17. Je suis fan de films d'aventure aussi. Je suis fan de films d'aventure aussi. This is 23 to 28. Je les regarde tous les jours. Je les regarde tous les jours. Quand je suis connecté, je télécharge les films suivants. Remember, you can pause me. You need to. 29. Quand je suis connecté, je télécharge les films suivants. C'est 38. Mais, en général, je fais des recherches pour mes devoirs. Mais, en général, je fais des recherches pour mes devoirs. This is 48 to 52. Nice little short one this. 48. Quand je suis en ligne. Quand je suis en ligne. This is 53 to 61. L'année dernière. Je suis allé à Paris avec ma famille. L'année dernière. Je suis allé à Paris avec ma famille. Oh, 62. Remember, you can pause me whenever you want. 62. Je m'entends bien avec ma sœur. Je m'entends bien avec ma sœur. Je la trouve très gentille. Je la trouve très gentille. C'est 75. 74. Nous avons visité les monuments historiques. Nous avons visité les monuments historiques. C'est 80. <coughs> Et nous avons pris beaucoup de photos. Et nous avons pris beaucoup de photos. 87. Let's speed up a bit. Any problems say now? Person. All right, 87. Le week-end prochain, je vais aller à la fête de Yannick. Le week-end prochain, je vais aller à la fête de Yannick. 97. Il va avoir 14 ans. Il va avoir 14 ans. This is 102. Je vais porter une jupe et un t-shirt de Mac. Je vais porter une jupe et un t-shirt de Mac. Ok, 112, we're almost there. On va écouter la musique. On va écouter la musique. Ok, 117, all the way to the end. Et on va chanter et danser toute la soirée. Et on va chanter et danser toute la soirée. Alors, you're right, we've done it. 
you can rewind this this slide six minutes long so i've been reading for six minutes rewind go back check your work make sure you're happy with it do that now when you are 100 percent happy go beyond this video and on the next slide i'll go through the answers now only give yourself the tick today if it is perfect get checking rewind listen again when you're ready restart me Alors, you ready? Voilà les réponses. You know how this works. Prenez un stylo rouge. Et pour chaque boîte, il faut vérifier si c'est correct ou pas. Par exemple, la lecture A. Et, et voilà. Get marking, guys. Put me on pause. Mark up your work. Any spell mistakes, even if they are tiny. For example, intéressant. You need the E with the accent because I'm talking about les romans plissières. Ce sont des plural. Have you got the S on the end? If you haven't, it is wrong. I know you lot are always too generous. Be brutal with yourself today. I want you to get an incredibly low mark. Go through, make sure it is perfect. Put me on pause and do that. On the next slide, I go all the way to the end. Et voilà, mes petits. This is all the way from 71 all the way down to 125. It's got to be perfect to get the mark. You're only cheating yourselves. Make sure you've got the accents and everything is perfect. Otherwise, it is wrong. Guys, at the end, give yourself a total out of 125. I reckon anything over 110 will be a really good mark to have. Alors, courage, put me on pause, get marking. Et bon effort à ceux qui ont fait le défi additionnel. Here's your extra challenge words, guys. Some lovely pieces of vocab in here that we've looked at this year. Brilliant if you found it in the text and got it. Well done. Allons, mes petits. And with that, year eight was done. Can you believe it? All finished. This is the final lesson of the year. Next time I see you, you will be in year nine. So a brilliant, brilliant effort. I know this is a tough lesson to finish with, but it's good for you to be tested. One thing to say if you're carrying on to GCC. If you're not, I hope you go to France in the future and you love it. I hope you have a really nice time on holiday or visiting or whatever you do. France is a great country. Go and experience it. And yeah, I hope you've had fun memories of studying French. You've enjoyed it. Not everyone continues. Don't worry about it. I'll still see you around. Uh, if you are continuing, good news. You all need to get on this booklet over the summer. So it's all up on Frog. Get on your summer revision pack. Don't lose your first chance. The very first hurdle. Make sure you get this done. Make sure you keep up with your French over the summer. All the YouTube videos are still up. You can watch me and I ones. You can watch some grammar ones. It's all there for you guys to help out. Get on your get ahead booklet for me, me petit. You're right, guys. Bonne fin. Have a fantastic summer. Stay safe. Don't go mad or do anything stupid. Yeah, we want you back in September safe and well. Have a great summer. And I look forward to seeing you all around school next year. À la prochaine fois, mes petits. Au revoir. Et bon vacances.